In this video, I am going to demonstrate how Bloom can be used as a bridge between a serial device and a networked application. In particular, an Arduino microcontroller, shown here, is connected using a standard USB cable and used to control an interactive sprite in a simple flash game. I have already connected the Arduino to my computer. So now I'm going to start Bloom and set up a connection to map the Arduino serial port to a TCP socket to enable our flash demo to communicate with the device. In this case, my Arduino is connected over COM port 3, as shown in the Windows Device Manager here. So to map the Arduino serial port to a network socket, I simply select COM port 3 and import a desired TCP port number to accept an incoming connection. In this case, I'll enter 40,000. I'll keep the default serial communication settings and press start. Now, I'm going to load the simple flash game into my web browser and connect to the Arduino controller through the Bloom bridging software. The game itself uses a potentiometer connected to the Arduino to control the angle of elevation of a turret along with a digital push button to fire projectiles. The goal of the game is to shoot down missiles before any of them reach ground level. The game supports up to two players. In order to connect to the Arduino, I need to enter both the address and the port number of the host computer on which the Bloom bridging software is running. In this case, the software is running on my local machine, so I simply need to enter the TCP port number that we selected when starting Bloom. In this case, at 40,000. Then, I simply click connect and wait for the connection to be established. Bloom will alert the user when a connection has been established by displaying a connection icon, as shown here. Once connected, it will display the total number of bytes transferred between the serial device and the TCP port, and vice versa. Now, back in my web browser, I can click Start to begin playing the game. As you can see, I am controlling the elevation of the turret and firing projectiles from the, using the Arduino controller. The data is being relayed through Bloom. Once I close my web browser, the connection will be terminated and Bloom will be free to accept another incoming connection for that serial device. Bloom supports up to four simultaneous serial port mappings, and each is controlled and configured separately from one another. Any device that can be accessed through a serial port can be mapped to a TCP port using Bloom, including wireless sensors that communicate using Bluetooth and other wireless protocols. That concludes the brief demonstration of using Bloom. Thank you for watching.